thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on another michael kors review so if you're interested then just keep watching so here she is oh my goodness isn't she cute this is the bradshaw small embellished convertible shoulder bag uh, by michael kors and this bag is supposed to be a play on the fendi baguette gonna put it somewhere on the screen for you but this is supposed to be Michael Kors play on it so if you want the look meaning the the style the silhouette of that um, you could lean towards this and you know this Bradshaw bag is all over the internet and it appears as though he uh, he just um, just kind of makes different styles of course and I um, I went to the Galleria a couple of months back and there was was another bag that I you know tried on in the store and I put it in my stories it had the same type of embellishment but the purse was domed and um, it was really cute it had this and it was light blue super cute but when I saw this in the store I had to get it I'm gonna go over the dimensions and I'm going to quickly show you what the bag looks on me you know my body size or body type you all know I'm five seven uh, close size large extra large so you can you know kind of tell how it would look on uh, someone my size the only drawback about this bag for me is that you all know if you've watched any of the previous uh, bag reviews I like bigger bags because I just like carrying a lot of stuff this one you know when I saw it in the store I was like okay I'm looking at the length right I'm thinking okay yeah I should be able to get a lot but the depth you know and it's like my wallet barely fits it, it fits in here but then after you have the wallet then my phone and I don't like when I carry a bag and you stuff it so much and it gets out of shape you can see the lumps and bumps I don't like the way that looks um, so I try not to you know stuff a bag so much to where you can see that so that would be the only drawback it's a small bag so I'm just going to have to figure out how I can carry my essentials at least what I feel an essential is in this bag without overstuffing it. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and look at the specs, shall we? Okay, so the specs on this for the width, it's 10.75. Okay, that's going this way. And um, the height going up like this is 5.9 and the depth for me which is really not enough is 2.75 okay and the drop right here is seven inches and the actual strap right here is 18 to 22 inches all of this is um, you can you know take this off if you want as well as this so it's not like some of the other bags that I have where you can't actually uh, remove this I think um, I have another bag that's like that the name is escaping me right now um, you know I can understand where you know some people you know might think this is a bit much but in person I think that it's really cute in the store it looked really cute um, and even this I think that some people might think that this is too much but but to me, you know, this would be a really cute purse to wear with jeans and a t-shirt, I think, especially if you're going to use this strap. But, you know, if I was to go out, you know, I would just use this uh, strap up here because it just kind of makes it dressier and I would take this off. Um, you do get a little clasp right here, which is super easy to take off. You just push the button up and that's it on the back of the bag you have a, a pocket where if you want you can put whatever in it um let's see i have a phone let's see my phone i'll put it back in there all the way it looks like this okay and that is how it looks on the side so it doesn't stick out too much okay i know that kind of bothers some people i don't necessarily know if it would bother me but anyway um on the inside of the bag you get two pockets you get a zipper pocket okay and there it is okay and then the other pocket is not a zipper and this is it right here 
Okay. So it kind of seems to me the one, the pocket that doesn't have the zipper is just a little bit deeper. Um, so it's about half of my hand. So about that much space in there. And that is it. Yeah, but this is just like so narrow to me. Uh-oh. See the back? See how narrow that is? 2.75 inches is not a lot. Okay. But it's super cute. There's a couple of other places online that still sell this bag just in case you're interested. Uh, but I know that I'm going to enjoy carrying this bag. The bag is well made. And as far as the hardware, all of the hardware is pretty classic across the board. Um, you get the Michael Kors uh, print on the little clasp right here. And I think that this is really cute right here. I think that's a nice little uh, touch. Um, makes it look super cute. This part right here is, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's a lot going on. Do I dislike, I mean, I could take it or leave it. Okay. Right here. And this part right here where you adjust the, um, the strap, it doesn't have Michael Kors on it. I do like the material that this is made of. I'll try to give you all some even cl uh, closer looks. Um, this is what the clasp looks like up close. Okay. And so you just push that and it comes up really, really simple. It's just a super cute purse. I love it. I love it. So anyways, let me do you some up close shots, even though... I will show you all again. This is just what it looks like. Super cute. So anyway, I am going to try this on so you can see what it looks like on my body type. Um, let me know what you think about it. And um, that pretty much concludes the video. Don't forget to let me know what you think about the purse down below. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, I can't let it take my soul. I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit the fence. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. When I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these hoes, cause my last name ain't Ken. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul, cause you know they trying to get it Yeah, yeah I learned my right from wrong on a song I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones I'm trying to write my wrongs By writing out my wrongs Ran through a check, cause it's hard to live off bread alone So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know Cause it ain't the end of times yet, I know, but it's getting close Yeah, I need my space to breathe, that's why I be going ghost I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road Cause I can't let them take my soul Nah, 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 no Oh, I can't let him take my soul Nah, 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 no I can't let him take my soul Nah, 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 no Oh, I can't let him take my soul Nah, 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 no